Hi, I'm Finley. And I'm Rory. And we're standing outside Family Channel's Big Ticket Summer Concert. Yeah! Very excited, but very nervous at the same time. time. Nervous excited! How's it going? Good. How old are you guys? I'm 10. You're 10 and you're 8. And you're eight. And what's it like transferring from acting to singing? I think for me there really is like days when I wake up and I know that I have to go into the studio or um, write or you know either shoot a music video or something like that so I it's pretty easy to get my mind into the frame like of singing for that day and then I just focus on my voice uh, whereas acting you know it's like it's a different process and uh, I think every day is different so it's not very hard to switch between the two. If you could do a duet with anyone who would you do it with? I would have to say probably Christina Aguilera or Adele for girls, and then I said this before, but Michael Bublé or Bruno Mars for boys. I knew I wanted to be an actor because I was doing like community theater when I was like four, six, seven, eight, and um, I just loved it. I just felt like it was where I was meant to be. And um, whenever I wasn't performing, I was performing for my parents or friends or family at school. So I just thought I should just try to go for this. My parents were very supportive, even though my mom still wants me to be a brain surgeon, but I'm sorry, mom, it can't happen. I'm where's Pete the Ostrich? Where's Pete the Ostrich? Okay, I left. I one. I can't believe you know you know about Pete. Wait, are you talking to Pete? Yeah. Are you, are, have you been talking to Pete on the phone? Yeah. yeah. What? Okay, one. Tell him to call me and please just come home. It's been too long, Pete. It's been too long. You guys are too cute. I love your shirts and your denim. You guys were wondering, how did you guys get to be so flexible? Like, you guys are like so flexible. It's crazy. Practice, I guess? Uh, well, I think we're going to pass to Jordan. <laughs> She's the most flexible out of all of us. A human uh, squid. Oh. Sorry, sorry, uh, thank you so much, Trevor. <laughs> so he calls me the human squid, apparently. Um, basically, I was kind of born a little bit flexible. I, I'm double jointed in my arms and, and my legs and my back. Um, so it just kind of came natural, but I also had to learn how to strengthen my body because I was so flexible that I was all over the place. I was literally a squid. Literally. So I, I had to strengthen my whole entire body to be able to control it. What kind of lessons did you guys get when you were kids? I know. I took everything as a kid. I took like ballet, jazz, acro, hip hop, um, and I fell in love with all of it. Um, tap as well. I don't know if I'm forgetting anything else. Musical theater, yes. I pretty well took everything except for ballet. I wasn't cool enough for ballet yet. Eventually, wow. <laughs> eventually I took ballet. Um, not until I was about 14, once I realized the importance of it. And that's the reason why I'm not so good at it. Yeah, come on in, guys. Yeah. We're actually in the middle of a dance circle, and it's your turn to go in. Oh. <laughs> Uh, 17 years old, you know, I'm, I'm not even 18 yet, so um, yeah, there's so much has happened and there's so much yet to go. You can always follow your dreams and, and, and do big things if you set your mind to it. So, yeah. I hear you're a good swimmer. Have you ever thought about swimming across Lake Ontario? <laughs> um, I've never thought about swimming across Lake Ontario. Um, I have thought about swimming. You know, I swim in the ocean, I swim, you know, lots in the pool, but I've never thought about swimming across across the lake. I think it might be a bit big for me. Yeah. Do you feel nervous when you're on stage? Do I feel nervous when I'm on stage? Yeah, sometimes. Um, you know, I think 
it's good to feel nervous, you know. I always, I always get a little nervous when I'm out there, and, and I think if you don't, then it means you kind of don't really care about how you're going to perform. So, you know, you got to, you got to care about it. Yeah. Do you have any advice for kids who are being bullied? Um. Yeah, I, you know, bullying is something that I think a lot of us experience in our lives. You know, I, I get it sometimes like online and stuff. And, um, people that want to bring you down, even though you're doing great things, and. and um, I think it's important to be able to talk to people that you trust about it, whether it is you know, your parents or your best friend yeah, or whoever. Stand up for yourself, exactly. Um, and, and trust that. Trust that. You should have enough confidence in yourself to know that um, you're the bigger person and then the person that bullying you is, is the little guy, you know, is the, the insecure one. So, yeah. Thanks so much, Owl Magazine, for letting us be reporters. We had so much fun. And now we're going to the concert. Yeah.